what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A judge has ordered Future to pay $53,000 in child support for his newly declared daughter, Rain. This is a huge victory for Eliza Rain, who initiated the lawsuit against Future for paternity and child support in 2019. Throughout that time, she suffered several attacks from Future, who called her out on social media, calling her a fraud and he most recently filed a defamation lawsuit against her. This surprisingly large child support order is a clear loss for future and could be the first of many legal battles to come. Eliza is the first of future's nine baby mamas to put him on child support. But according to reports, that's about to change. You see, future got seven other baby mamas who is in the process of filing child support on him, and they are all looking for a big payday, like Eliza Rain got. Future was pissed. He went on Twitter and said this, Leave them ugly girls alone. Ugly girls be in imaginary relationships. You act just like you look. Caught me slipping. Okay, so what? You crying over shoe money when you could have just asked for it. Relax. Okay, who you got? Future or Eliza Rain and the eight other baby mamas. That's one man versus nine women in the American child support system. Okay, let's state the obvious. It's easy to point at Future because he's the one in the jam. And, you know, he's the one that got the nine baby mamas. But let's start with the women. How much culpability does the women have in this? They are the ones who know that Future is reckless with his body. They are the ones who allow this man to run up in them raw and produce babies that he's not really going to be there to raise because they're scattered all over the place. It's hard to raise kids under the same roof. It's hard to raise multiple kids under the same roof. He has nine kids by nine different baby mamas from what's reported. These women, I can't say every single one of them. I don't know if the very first one was looking for it, but they were looking for a payday. They don't even know this dude. He calling the mother of his children or the mother of his child ugly on social media, like to the world, publicly. Here's the thing, fellas, you got to understand this though. When two lay down and three get up, you got to take care of it. You got to man up and just do whatever it takes. Yes, the women are dead wrong. Yes, they don't get off on this. No, it's, it's too many women that's using this system, this broken system to take advantage of men. And they're using their children as pawns. Many of them aren't even good mothers. They're just getting the check. And really, you can make the argument that it's impossible to be a good mother if you have those type of intentions, if you brought a child into the world under those circumstances, knowingly, knowing that you were 
just looking for a payday. You're using the child for a payday. In fact, that's a horrible mother. That's not an argument. That's not even debatable. So they get whatever misery that's coming to them because of their choices. Ultimately, as a man, I have to say to the fellas that we have to be responsible for us first. He's the one got nine babies from nine different women. As far as I know, the nine women ain't got nine babies from nine different men. Not excusing any behavior that they have exhibited. But as a man, we have to get to the point in life where we accept responsibility for our actions and where we care about our bodies and put as much value on our private parts as we put on our car, our homes, our money. We got to protect our money. Every single time, if you got, even if you ain't got no money, every time you lay up there with a woman and you go in raw, that's a bag. You're going to have to go and get a bag because kids cost money. And depends on what type of woman you end up with, you're going to have to come off a bag to support her, more than likely, because it's a package deal. No, you cannot just be with the child and break up with the mother and think that the mother not going to eat off the money that you send for child support. It is a very good idea. Unless you plan on being with a woman long term. That you don't even have sex with her. But if you do. It is absolutely necessary for you to strap up. You have a responsibility to strap up. You owe it to yourself and your peace of mind to not bring a child into this world and put that child at a social disadvantage. When mom and dad is beefing from the jump, you are almost guaranteeing that your child is going to have a tumultuous upbringing and you are going to spend a whole lot of days stressed out. Michael Jackson had a song where he said, if you can't feed the baby, then don't have the baby. I put an addendum on that. If you can't see that woman in your life, for the rest of your life, don't go in there raw. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?